Hey, welcome to Toy Chest Quest. Really appreciate you stopping by the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of a toy hunt. I'm going to hit up a few stores today, actually. I'm going to do kind of a longer hunt. I don't have a huge budget for today. I got a doctor's appointment this morning. So after that, we're going to head over to Books A Million. Then we're going to hit up Target, some Walmarts. It'll be a fun day. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Like, uh, tell me the kind of stuff you like to hunt below. I'm in a neck of turtles mostly. Uh, if you saw that last video, I'm not looking for many turtles right now because luckily I found a huge amount. I found three different turtle two packs that I've been looking for forever, uh, other than the Rat King who was new. Very excited to own that one though. That was one of my favorite figures as a kid, the Rat King. And I've been collecting Transformers a lot lately. Uh, if you have been watching the channel since the beginning, I hilariously told myself I was not going to get into Transformers because I knew I'd go too crazy. So I'm trying to stick to the Netflix show era stuff and the movie Transformers because I just watched Transformers, the movie, the 1986 one, the animated one. And uh, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I had never seen it somehow. And uh, God, I've watched... Five or six of those. I've, I've watched at least four of the Michael Bay ones. And I definitely should have started with the movie because it rocks. I've already watched it twice. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I like Hot Rod. I love Grimlock already. So I'm very excited to see him. Um, so let's get on that hunt. And let's see what they got. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hey, everybody. Just getting out of a doctor's appointment. So I figured I would go to... Oh, 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 you can't see it. Books a million. I don't think I've ever hunted here. I've hunted at Barnes & Noble, but not this book's a million. So let's get inside and see if they have any toys. I don't even know. Looks like a lot of stuff. Well, that's kind of neat. I've never seen that before. I didn't watch that movie though, so. Whoa! Lots of stuff here. A lot to unpack. Okay. God, I'm the last I ever saw that was. That new. Hmm. Pretty neat. Afraid someone's gonna steal these, man. Who's a Spider-Man? She's gonna see who is here. God. Some few complete builder figures. Was that the Gwenpool? She really wanted this one. She has this little cell phone and little hand for it. Tempting. <laughs> Those eggs. Such a weird good movie. It's neat. Jonesy. There's so much stuff. These bookstores always have so many pops. Oh, that's awesome. 2001. Bart Man. <laughs> what? Happy Hogan with the check. That's John Favreau's actual paycheck from Disney. It's in Florida Stanley. Got some real funny ones. Blocks. God, there is so much stuff here. Oh my gosh, the nun. It's been an afternoon in here. Just unpacking all this. Oh wow. I've seen this for a while. Oh, is that Steve King? Look at that. And his little dog. That Molly. That's funny. Wish I was that famous. They put me in loads of pop final one day. 
I don't think they make pops for people who talk about pops though. Oh man, these spooky boys. There's Stephen King. Spooky Kings, look at this. Let's see what else we got here. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what kind of that is. Look at all these pops, holy crap. Definitely can't say there is no pop vinyl for everyone at this point. Oh my gosh, I have nowhere to go. I'm so sorry. So much stuff. Game of Thrones. I feel like that's definitely had its day. Oh wow, Joe's. Surprising. I don't think. I wonder if these are the new redone ones or not. I don't really. I think that the gun on his is a lot more black. Oh, pretty neat, though. Let's see the storm back there. Hiding. All right, there's people here. Look at these guys. Backpack. A lot of empty shelves over here. Oh, we have many brands. They're all gone now. Don't sleep on those. These are so rad. Man, I gotta get, find some more of those this week. All right. Oh my gosh. Well, I ended up digging a little something while I was in there. They had mini, the cash register, mini brands, uh, wave one, which I haven't even seen at all yet. So I definitely don't have any of these. It was $8. I had been paying six for these at Walmart. So still better than the hot topic price online. And, uh, like I said, I haven't seen these was going to open this on TikTok, but I'm going to open this at the end of the video. So stick around. I got a couple more stores to go to and then we'll see what I got into this. Uh, be real fun. I don't know if you've seen those or not yet. I've posted them on my Instagram and on my TikTok. Uh, they're awesome. They're like little tiny food replicas. And if you can find the ones with the toys, there's like little Ninja Turtle masks and little turtle figures, which I haven't got any of those yet. But I did get some really funny things that just like, especially if you're like me and you like to try to make some of the pictures you take funny, or at least attempt to make them funny. Uh, there's a lot of really silly things like... Uh, Lunchables, like I got Lunchables in one the other day. That was really funny. Uh, A1 steak sauce, just stuff like that. They're just, they're kind of dumb. I love them. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. And I think I'm gonna go to Target. Let's go to Target. <gasps> hey, all right, we are at Morgantown Target. And I'm hoping we see some turtles today because I'm gonna laugh right in their faces if I see them because I think I've got everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> if you've seen that last time I went to Target, probably, I assuming it was the hunt before this one that I've posted, I got all the two packs I've been looking for. I'm very broke now, but totally worth it. I'd actually been saving a little bit of money in case I ran into all those restocks. And uh, yeah, thrilled. I'm really hoping they restock April O'Neil and um, Foot Soldier and Casey Jones in the Foot Soldier and um, the original Turtles. I know there's supposed to be a new four pack and actually I just want that four pack. I'll tell you what I think it's like it was like 100, 120 bucks I think is what it, it's priced at so it's about what it would cost you to buy one of the cartoon colored Turtle 2 packs. All right let's get inside and see what they got. Whoosh! Right, Naka Naka. Dallas is cool. I've seen this in a while. OG Freddy. That's such a classic poster. <laughs> Very fun. Ugh. Predator? I don't think we saw this guy in the last one. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, these ugly dune figures. <laughs> no offense if you like those. I just find them very gray and boring, but hey, if you like them, you like them. That's a cool figure. I saw you pick her up. See who's down here. Still need to get dark. It doesn't look like they have any though. This is a really good Jason. Love that fire effect. Yeah, I haven't seen a whole lot, guys. Let's put Coral on back up here. Well, she can go somewhere here. We're just gonna see Coral right there. Popeyes. Not a whole lot here either. There's Jane and Levinson. Hide your big flat screen TVs, fellas. Okay. Oh, there's Bumblebee. That's really cool. I don't think I've seen the Bumblebee one yet. Neat. Yeah, I want to get some of these, but that's a lot. Okay, let's keep looking around, guys. Alright. Looks like we got a lot of jokers. Nightwing. This one doesn't stop the bat figures a whole lot. Transformers, which now we're going to cover a lot. There we go. There's Pong. It's got him. Sailing Wave, Roadbuster, Starscream. Uh, everybody's looking for these right now. Someone was asking me in the comments if I was going to pick one of these up. I would love to, but it is, I think, 118th scale. If this was 112th scale, I'd be buying this right now. But that is really cool. Like a little the rust and stuff. I like how that comes out like in the trailer. It's really fun. Looking forward to the movie. And then I got pushed back, but still exciting. These guys, finally got that review up. Hopefully you guys have seen that. Pick these up if you want them. Super nice. Keep an eye on here. And I'm gonna check the price on this to see if she's on sale. Cause I need this one. It's not like I got any new legends. Check Fortnite stuff real quick here. Oh, I did get a good tip. Is uh, I'll post the person right here, but blur their name. Someone had suggested in a Ninja Turtle group to so get these, use these for the turtle weapon effects, like uh, the video game NECA turtles, and they look really awesome. So, post some of the photos. Hopefully I can get that person's permission and post those here. But yeah, I thought that was a really cool tip. I'm gonna pick some of these up, hopefully. And they're a little cheaper. I know my mom's foster kids like Minecraft, so they will be getting the figures and I will be taking these accessories. <laughs> All right, let's check Fortnite, cause you know, I'm a big Fortnite guy. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of new Fortnite guys, it looks like. Frozen Raven. Oh wow, he's got the fire. That's a nice accessory. I like that a lot. I'd get that just for that fire. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh this is fun. Agent Peely. Oh my gosh. That is a great figure. Oh my goodness. Fortnite's been insane this season. I don't know if anybody else is playing it. Oh, there's a scientist. That's really cool. A lot of really good skins they're giving out. Well, not giving out, you gotta pay for them, but Predator and stuff like that. Oh, on TikTok, it's these. They have a really cool weapon effect in here, too. I'm actually gonna grab one of these today. And also, I will link where I got that idea because I think I saved that one, too. So, yeah, the burst effect in here, very cool. All right, let's check the price on this one. Real quick though, let's go over this stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Andre the Giant. Slay Ambulance. I think a lot of this guy. If you like the Fiend, they've got all the Fiends. Very cool. Jar Jar, One Lone Luke. Masters of the Universe, Minions, Bananas. Wheels. Another Freddy hiding back here. 
leave that for her. I have a put it there though. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, must be like a. Oh, oh wow, all these are pretty great. I like this yellow barrier a lot. I picked that up today too. Maybe this will be coming to the channel pretty soon. If you saw the uh, one I did on the table, I think everybody should get that. It is a great accessory. As far as the bikes, I like the green one too. I think the yellow is more standard, so that's the one I'll be getting. All right, let's go check the price on this Gozer. Okay, kidding, real quick. Clearance aisle I found, so we're gonna look over this stuff. much but pretty cool and hearts neat little video camera film reel nice stuff cool some more of these I got some snacks or discount on it I don't know it's open just just people these are really fun though. Three bucks. I grab another one of these today. I got the uh, one similar to this pack because I wanted the candy corn, but I might need this electric keyboard. Is that a cameraman? I need him too. If he's a little camera, he is. I need him. Oh, that's coming with me too today. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, $4. I would have loved to have gotten that for that price. Yeah, these are fun. Gonna open one of these on one of my channels I got a while ago. I don't know which one they have though. Which channel, not which thing. I already know which packs about it. Those are so funny. Yeah, I think I can live without the rest of these though. I'm trying to be better and talk myself out of more unnecessary purchases moving forward. And speaking of which, let's check the let's check the price on this. Alright, so I found this little end cap. I see some pretty big boxes sticking out here for <laughs> the cup of the neck I figured into. That's wild. Green one. Oh wow. That's a cool Godzilla. Four bucks. Jeez Louise. Who else is in here? It's like just a bunch of Godzillas. Well, it's still very cool to see mecha figures on sale. Giant aura for $15. That's pretty cool too. Yeah, cool. Definitely do not need this set, but uh, so we'll be leaving it here for some other lucky soy hunters. Yeah, oh, look, this is like middle of nowhere, kind of. Also, these little transformer aisles are popping up, which are like on the back end of toys. This is the same way with the one in Clarksburg, West Virginia. And then this is how I found Hot Rod. So he was just kind of chilling, nothing like this. That's kind of cool, cool. World War II Bumblebee. The littlest Optimus Prime, as big as a thumbs up. Very adorable. Yeah, let's clean this up a little bit. My favorite Transformers, the Pound Puppies and Throw Burrito. I always like to tidy up the toys sections I like. Why not? Oh, he's fun. Yeah, it seems much better. Some of these goofballs I'm not putting back because it's too much. Okay, let's pay for this. Well, let's thank Bullseye. Pay for this. Head to Walmart. Thanks, Bullseye. Cartoon Bullseye is cute. All right, we're at Walmart. I got a couple things at Target, but pretty much what I showed you in the video. I'm gonna open up that little blind bag. Uh, where's there? 
I'm gonna open up the little uh, blind bag thing at the end. I gotta make sure, hopefully I link the guy who put that on his TikTok because I thought that was a really cool hint. I don't know if you can hear me in the video or not, but that thing comes with like, there's like a, a muzzle uh, blast effect. And I think it was only $4. I will warn you, I didn't know, and I may not have gotten this if I knew at the time, but the tech deck uh, bike things are $10. So they're a little bit steep, more steep than the skateboards, but makes sense. Pretty complicated little bike. I don't know how the bikes fit with the figures in scale because they look a little small. So we'll check that at the end of the video too. We'll throw a throw a couple every we'll throw a couple different figures on that bike and see where we stand on that too because that'd be a nice little accessory. I might even just, you know, lean it up against a trash can on the back of a shot. If not, throw it in a donation pile because that's a real fun little toy. All right, let's get inside Walmart and see what they got. I'm looking for a couple transformers, nothing too crazy. I wouldn't mind picking up Cyclone. I uh, don't really have a lot of Decepticons and I need them. Someone's got to get punched in the face in these photos or being shot at. And uh, hate for it to always be Soundwave because he's a uh, delight. All right, let's get inside and see what they got. All right, I'm gonna try to find the clearance here first. I haven't really hit this one up since post-holiday. It's like a month and some change into now. So let's see if there's anything left. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> Dollar uh, Cassie Nandor with some slime on the back of him. I'm gonna have to remove and bring this in now. A little bit sorry, man. That's a bummer. Hopefully they still have some of those left. I'm gonna have to go check toys. I'm obsessed with those things now. Man, clearance is a blast. So, let's go ahead and head to regular old-fashioned toy section. All right, regular toys were packed. We will return. Oh, this is exciting stuff, though. <laughs> Skeletal. Guys, he really 15 bucks, so that's great. I don't think that's for him, though. Dale Warhart Jr., NASCAR peeps, Jeff Gordon. Got a good bunch of those now, that's pretty fun. I used to see him getting outside of the normal movies and video games and stuff. It's always funny when you see a new pop you've never thought of because you think they've made every single one of them. God. This is a mess. I'll straighten this up for me just a little. I don't really do Walmarts, but I'm bad. I mean, I can't even. These are new. I don't watch a lot of anime, but looks pretty cool. Of course, you know how I feel about <laughs> this guy. Hey, this guy. Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah, he's such an ugly figure. I'm so sorry, but ugh. nightmares in the opposite way. Intense. That's cool. I have a pretty good death stroke from the games. I don't remember who made it, but that is a pretty good one. If you were looking. My man Godzilla is gonna beat King Kong up next month. Man, looks like it's about it, guys. I'd love to see he's a PS5. Let's see. Nope. I still have a nice chunk of change saved for that and probably buy one next year when they're available again. Such a bummer. If you have one, tell me how great it is, how jealous I should be. Jack hot. Oh my gosh. Love to just take a whole box of these with me today. That would be so fun. Man, I'm so glad these are very readily available and very cheap. Oh, I'll get some of those to go. Oh, I outed myself now. Nice. Oh, it looks like 100 Baby Yoda speakers. This Godzilla stuff's cool. That's very cool if you've seen that in the trailer. Very neat stuff. But bigger Kong, or oh, I'm losing my stuff. Bigger Godzilla fan. Love Kong, but Godzilla's my boy, so that's who I'm rooting for. Sorry, upset anybody, but my allegiances lie. Favorite Japanese lizard. Okay, let's see. Might 
people under the shelves. I haven't done that in a while. These are so fun. I think these are great. I'm so glad that people are. <laughs> Ghost popper. Guys, you think good on the crawlers? Okay, bunch of wrestlers. This guy, someone got the five finger discount on. That's a bummer for someone looking for him. We all know this guy. Favorite gold chain wearing black turtleneck actor, The Rock. Oh, she's cool. I like her sunglasses. Neat. I haven't seen these guys before. That guy's like an actual wrestler, like real wrestling get up, like high school wrestling team. That's funny. More female wrestlers. Nice. Oh, a whole bunch of them. Nice. Very cool. Biggie. I don't know any of these wrestlers. Very neat though. All right, let's peep around here. That's a, such a good one. I don't know how this big boy hangs on that peg. I love him. Armor is real. It's like some kind of, come on, like. Hmm, I don't know what that's for. Very weird. I guess you get Monopoly game pieces from it. Seems like a griff. Star Wars figure in a way. Oh, mm, uh. <laughs> classic. Sorry, girl. This guy is always giving me duff at the store. We got some more Fortnite guys. Peely, Lord X Scavenger, Fish Stick. You know I'm coming down here for Transformers. These are so cool. God, I love dinosaurs, and I think that these are. Warm welcome in the toy aisle. Oh, on away! Okay, so we got, I already got Hot Rod. Awesome. By the way, I watched Transformers the movie for the first time in my life the other day, and it was wonderful. I think Hot Rod's one of my new favorite Transformers. Oh, I might have to pick this up today. We got Leonard Nimoy, we got Scourge. I actually pre-ordered this, but happy to cancel it if this is the same price as the one I pre-ordered, so I'm gonna check that. Oh, we also got a big Optimus down here too. That's pretty neat. He's got these friends who become weapons. I want the Optimus that has the uh, whole truck back. And you can put like the old sparks coming out of, very cool. And we have a review coming to the channel of this Optimus pretty soon. I got him, uh, actually got it really cheap on Amazon, so. Definitely be following like toy shiz. There's a couple Instagrams that alert you to that kind of stuff, but can be bad too because then you end up spending all your money online. So that happens to me too. But I really appreciate and love those guys. They're really doing good stuff. Okay, let's go check the price on Scourge. Run away from this dinosaur and see what the next Walmart has to hold. Go ahead and start in clearance. Air hockey, that's pretty cool. Golden Knights, Penguins. Those are my teams. I'm not a big sports guy, but I love hockey. Hockey's blast, so. If you're interested, gosh, they've had this guy here. I haven't been here to this store in months. Like at least a month and a half, at least still have this guy. Let's see. I'm not seeing a ton of toys. We got three musketeers, Freddy Krueger stuffed animal. Little Caesars. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Little Scooby Doo. That's kind of neat. Seems like a wow. That's a really good price. I don't really do makeup work. That is a deal. Looks like just Killer Crocs. I'm gonna get a five finger discount on whatever comes with that there. Alright, in the old fashioned regular toy aisle. Let's uh peep around and see what they got. Looks like we got the new aliens. They got the Apex figures. My Walmart had these like a month ago for like four dollars. I just have these that I just picked up. 
open one of that at the end of the video. Very exciting. For me at least. Hopefully you too. We got Masters of the Universe. I heard some people are still looking for us. Boy, they got them in West Virginia. We are filthy with them. We got John Cena. You can't stop me. I assume that's his catchphrase. That's on his shirt, so. All right, Transformers. Oh my gosh. They are stacked. I'm talking stacks on stacks of Transformers. Look at this. Man, let me make the last Walmart. Put it to shame. We got Optimus Prize, the thought, oh, Optimus Prime, thoughts with size with them. We got Rat Trap, who I might take with me today. He is very cute, and very cool, very great. Beast Wars Transformer. Trying to clean some of these guys up for him here. We got Cop up here. I just got Cop last week. Blur, I still need. I will be picking up at Walmart eventually, but probably next month. I'm already. As you saw from my turtle hunt, very broke this month. And, boy, hopefully you've seen the review on my channel of Grimlock, who is one of the greatest Transformers. Me Kang. Love Grimlock. That is such a good figure, too. I'm very excited this is at Walmart, because I thought they were a Target exclusive, and that would have been criminal, because, man, this guy needs to be everywhere. Look at this. Really in there. Yeah. They got a bunch of them too. They got four of them, it looks like. And we just picked up Scourge at our last excursion at Walmart. Hopefully I'm going to do or have done a hot rod review very soon too. I try to like to space out my reviews. It's not back to back the same kind of thing. That way, a uh, little diversity. God, this guy's really little. He's even smaller than Optimus. Love it, very cute. I got jazz. Do I need jazz as well? Because I'm trying to get all the 86 movie ones. Like, that's a good, solid collection. Here, go ahead and straighten these up a little. Man. I think I paid 30 at the other Walmart, so could have saved four bucks if I'd have waited four minutes. That's okay, though. Very excited about Scourge. God, I love that Transformers, the movie logo. So 80s. So fun. All right, we might gotta take a rat trap with us today. We'll see. Ooh, dropping stuff everywhere, and you know I'm picking it up. Look at that price, 17 bucks. So good, love it. Might wait on him for the next one since I already picked up something today, and I'm trying to be better. So we're gonna think about you, rat trap. We'll be back. Love seeing all these transformers. Very exciting. All right, Star Wars. We have one Han Solo. I would like to pick those up. Because I do not have him or Luke. But I'm just kind of bored with Black Series figures right now. And don't really have the extra cash to just kind of throw around at him. Because he's fine. But I don't have anything planned right now photography-wise. So I can live without it. So there's a bunch of George Jars. It's also getting a repackaging, I haven't seen. It's a pretty great, it's like a old fashioned episode one card back. The Frogman. Peter B. Parker is the best. This is my favorite Spider-Man figure. So funny. My fiance didn't know who that was. I forget, oh my God, I wish I knew. Dang it, I wish I could remember who she asked me who it was. She was like, who's holding the pizza? I have like a little pizza in my room. Oh, these are kind of cool. Evelyn, Tila, Stay Puff. Those are great. All right, well, guess we'll go peep that NECA section, see what they got, and head over to GameStop. Have I seen this Batman? I feel like I've seen a Batman like this with a different sword. Like a fire sword, maybe. Yeah, this is different. His ears are big. A little too tall for him in there. Ducking down. Funny. Alright. Rat trap. One of these days. Next time, man. Alright. Christmas pop still. Jeez Louise. Big pins. 
These are pretty neat. They are very, very expensive. How many bat pits? It's just like one big thing? Who will, does anybody use these? What do you put them on? I got pins and I'm really bad at putting them on things and they're regular size. And these are massive. You must need a big old jacket or something for these. I need a backpack. Let me know in the comments. Check out some of these other guys. I've kind of seen, there's a figure in this line from one of my favorite movies, Big Trouble in Little China. I wouldn't mind peeping. Probably won't buy it. Just want to see it, honestly. Neck of lies. We got some penny wise. King Kong. That's the face he's gonna make when he loses to Godzilla a year in a month. Oh no, what did I, I shouldn't have gotten into this fight. Oh man, I think that's it. Let's see if they got a PlayStation 5. I just need my phone. You think I do a brief video where I don't find a PlayStation 5 for 10 months. They are stacking controllers though. Oh my god, it almost looked like they had one for a second. Yeah, everything else though. Man, one of these days. Okay, let's go see if they've got the little toy line boxes and get out of here. These guys are so weird. I'm enthusiastic and it's annoying, but these guys take that to another level. I assume they would be here, because I think it's, because those are in the little toys, and these are too. So, whoa, that's pretty neat. Bunch of weird pets in unison here, asking me to take them out. All right, let's see if we can find these blind balls. Okay, jackpot. We got them. So I'm gonna go the toy ones, because I've been finding these pretty good. Toy ones, a lot harder to find in my opinion. And I found them now twice. This is the, it's not usually part of an aisle, but it, the other Walmart, it's the back aisle. It's kind of this like, I don't know what you'd call it, like where you'd find gumball <laughs> refills and marbles and, an old-fashioned pair of this and caps like it's very weird old toys I guess you'd say well, these are kind of neat oh look at these that looks like that's to scale I don't know about that one but I have to pick up one of these too a toss across and the little peoples neat yeah let's see what's all in this I would love that little alligator game, Stretch Armstrong. These are neat. Let's get one of these too. Five bucks. Go grab two of these. Oh wait, these are the brand ones. Oh, I almost made a big mistake. <laughs> Already got two of those for the Walmart. Okay, the toy ones. See, that's what I was telling you. There's little packaged Ninja Turtle figures and stuff here. They're awesome. And we're gonna get three of these. Open one at the end, save the other two for probably TikTok. Sorry guys. Ah, post this up on Instagram too. And they're only like a minute, so fun to check out. All right, let's get back to the car. Oh, that's pretty cool. Go with the other ones. I was walking out, I saw this. It's flock too, so it looks like Panthor fun. That's very neat. All right, let's get out of here for real. Alright guys, last place on the trip today will be GameStop. Let's get inside the cube they got. It's been a while since I've been to this one. Always super friendly though. Great customer service. These little guys. The mayor. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have it. We have the illegal. Downsize a lot of toy section. <laughs> oh my god, that's sweet. We do not have this either. Okay. Um, it's just available on our website. Yeah, it's all good. I'll follow all these things. You're welcome. Have a good day. Oh, Oh. All 
right. Well, that kind of stinks. They got rid of a lot of their toy section at this GameStop. Uh, guess somebody got a nice uh, bump in their stock and thought they didn't need toys anymore. I'm just kidding. I don't know anything about stocks, and I definitely don't think that's why they got rid of all their toy section. And they still had some, so there's that. But uh, that's going to wrap up the hunt period of this. So let's go back, and I'm going to open up a few of these blind bags and uh, take a closer look at Scourge. So let's get back home, see what all I got. Hey, welcome back. Oh, boy, that was a fun little hunt. Got this guy, which I've been looking for for a while, and I actually have pre-ordered, but I was happier to cancel, not have to pay for shipping, and I think, think, it was $10 cheaper. So, that was nice. And Amazon is so simple to uh, cancel your orders on. I love this. Oh, this 86 is cut out of the side. That is beautiful. And, like all of these, I think one of my favorite things right out of the gate when I started collecting Transformers, a lot of these come with a little cardboard background. Really great for me to shoot the reviews on, and, uh, <laughs> the only problem is now I'm going to have to have one of these totes back here that just has like Transformers cardboard backgrounds in it because uh, it's going to be really hard for me to throw these away. And you know me, I'm a recycling guy, but boy, these are gorgeous and uh, it's really cool to throw them up on the shelf. I got a lot. Of, I just have regular plain black shelves and it adds a lot. I like them. So let's go ahead and we'll put him right here for now. Put old there. And then I got a couple little blind bag things we were going to open on here. I want to talk about this bike too. We're going to see if Deadpool fits on that. Ah, we can open this blind bag too. Why not? We'll do the Transformers one. This is an extra long hunt. I wanted it to go a little long. And uh, I haven't done one of these. It was over 20 minutes for a while. So we'll just let this one roll. All right. First, let's go ahead. We'll start with the bike. I think that's a good call. So, Like I said, this was a little bit more than the skateboards that I think were five dollars this one was oh, that's nice i like that they uh the skateboards do that too they come with the whatever the brand is you get little stickers for it so you can either put them on the bike or i, I assume you'd put them on this too if you wanted all right the bike is small i got deadpool here to see if he can ride it i think he's going to be a little too big but that's okay like i said um this thing was a fun accessory and uh, i'd actually given all of the tech decks that I got to my mom for her foster kids because uh, I just don't really have a use for them. I've got the Turtles pack that has the, the skateboard in it from NECA pre-ordered, the accessory pack for the movie, and that's coming. And the only that was the only skateboard I needed. I had a few extras, but I had a bunch of duplicates from getting the trash barrels. So that is pretty cool, though. And these are Target exclusives. It looks like it's got a swivel. So you can do this. That's my dog on the cement floor if you hear him yeah that's pretty cool hey bones you know stephen king has uh stephen king's dog has got a pop of itself you and i don't get anything that's a bummer right so that's pretty cool i like this and uh it scales well with figures so deadpool will be riding the bike so we'll see that in a second <clears throat> yeah bike's definitely too small for figures it's kind of funny though Woohoohoo! Deadpool's hands are really funny on it. It's like, oh man, it's probably like how that uh, Ghostbusters thing, it's probably the same scale as the Ghostbusters thing to the, imagine E.T. though, on the front of this, like, -na 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 -na. so yeah, that's a little too small. These are kind of fun though, just to play around with. Oh, the that's neat, look at this, watch. I like that. The things go around with the, whoa, there's actually a chain on there. Wow, that's really cool. I had gotten these when I was like in sixth grade. So that technology has progressed. That is pretty neat. But yeah, I'll be donating this because uh, it's a little too small. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. I want to show you this. Um, all right, so I got this next tip from Toy Spell on TikTok. Uh, definitely give them a follow. It was one of the first channels that followed me and I followed back because they have a lot of really great little hints like this one. They had picked this up. Uh, they had picked this up from Target, I think. At least that's where I got mine. And uh, it is a little Fortnite mystery bag. Now, some of these accessories, the, uh, I think for the most part, are scaled to the four inch Fortnite figures, which is kind of a bummer, but you know me, I'll figure out a way to repurpose them if not. All right, this is fun. I wish they did these for the six inch ones. I've said that before in the past. 
I'm a big Fortnite fan. I don't know if you play Fortnite or not, but I, I, I've been playing it since, uh, it's been a couple years now. Oh, wow. Oh, this must be a rare item worth a lot of money. It's a little golden, uh, plunger gun. And then you've got a back piece, which I don't, I can't tell you if I knew the names of the back pieces, I've been playing too much Fortnite, so... And then you get a little umbrella, which this is the one you get, I think, when you, uh, won one of the winter seasons on Battle Royale. Which, that's really fun. But this was what I came for, and this is pretty cool. I didn't get the same one either, which means there are multiple, so I should try another one. So I didn't get the same one as Toy Spell. I don't think, at least. And this one is just, like, a little... Let me see. Oh! All right, so we're going to try it on... I got the Triceraton rifle. And if you look, it... It looks like it's just kind of like a one-size-fits-all kind of thing on the end of a muzzle. Oh, yes! Yes, Toy Spell! Dude! Look at that. That is... Radical! Oh man, so okay, this is what you're gonna be looking for. And hey, it's a hard plastic. Some of this stuff I don't know about. You're gonna be looking for one of these trophies right here. That is what you're gonna be wanting. Man, good job, Jazzware, I assume. They're the ones with all the Fortnite stuff. Yeah, Jazzware. Well done. That's fun. I like that. I'm gonna have to get a couple more of these in the future. I, it was only four dollars, so gosh, Walmart probably has them for three. That means. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Oh, that is really fun. Let's go ahead and crack into these. I want to do the toy one first because that one I don't have any of. The toy one I I've opened one other, two other toy ones, and then a bunch of the food ones. Oh, I've gone ham on those food ones. I'm trying to get. I'm getting ready to shoot some. Godzilla vs. Kong photos for next month, so I really need, I'll just like throw out a tease here, I really need the ketchup and the mustard, so hopefully I can find those. I will tell you this, I love these, but there is so much trash when you're done. And then you have these eggs that are like a number seven plastic, and I don't know how to donate that, so I don't know how to recycle that, so I gotta figure that out. I got a whole bag of these eggs. Which serve no second purpose. They're like a, uh, if you haven't seen these before, they have a little thing here that comes off. And then they open like an orange. So that's real fun. <laughs> I love these things. I am obsessed with them. Okay, we'll go through them here. Alright, I already have this one. This is a fun one though. It's Jojo Siwa's bow. Don't know a lot about Jojo. She seems like a nice person though. I think she's from YouTube. She has a bunch of stuff. I knew that much. Oh, okay. What is this? Looks like some sort of a doll. Oh, it's the shelf. I wanted this. Okay, cool. Let me very quickly construct this shelf and oh, it's on wheels. So I'm probably going to cut to it being done because it may take a second. But what happens is they, uh, I'll just quickly tell you, they come with little things. This one's a shelf. I already have the shopping cart, the shopping basket, and one of the registers. They're cool, but they're scaled very small. Like, they may even be too small for four-inch figures. Huh? I'll tell you what. No, I think four-inch figures I work well for. But uh, that's the one problem with this stuff is the scale's all over the place. But like I always say, with scale, you can make it work. So let's see what I'll build this, and then we'll cut back. And you can see, I got like a little shelf now. And this is kind of cool. I actually wanted this one. Cause I feel like I can at least use it. Uh, I've had a couple of these to simulate like store shelves, stuff like that, like convenience store. They do come with extra stickers. Well, not extra stickers. They come with regular stickers. Uh, I I do not put these on there because I might make these for my photography stuff. So I might want something a little bit more interchangeable. Maybe print out some custom ones that look like some of the places I go, like Target, Walmart, stuff like that. So we'll see if this pops up in the future. All right, let's continue with the egg. <laughs> okay it's a fingerling and these are great like when you see this you're gonna die like the ones that have the plastic are awesome I mean, it just looks like a little tiny replica of a toy you'd see on the shelves these are so fun i think like next christmas i'm gonna have way too many things to use to 
shoot photos and I'm very excited. I remember this year just being like, man, I wish I had like, I kept seeing these kind of things and I was like, where are people getting these? Guys, it happened! Oh baby, not only did I get one of the Ninja Turtle ones, but oh, I got the old school one. Cause there's also the uh, TMNT one, but this is more, you know, my generation. I do like the TMNT, don't get me wrong. But man, look at this. It's not the exact same packaging, but they went pretty close, close enough. And this thing you're gonna be seeing a ton of. Man, that is cool. This brings me so much joy. Oh my gosh. Oh my, I cannot believe I got the turtle one. I should open that one last. Whatever's in here is gonna be junk. No, it's pretty cool too. It's a big old T-Rex. I'm just really enthusiastic about a lot of stuff, let's be honest. Oh, look at this guy though. Look at that. I actually saw stuff like this on the shelves at Walmart today. Like that is unreal. I think it would be so fun to have that job. Whoever does this and makes these little replicas, man, that must be a really fun gig. Okay. Wow, that was really exciting. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. I have so much stuff to clean up after this. Woo. Okay. Let's open up this last one and then we can get out of here, guys. My battery's dying on my camera. That's how long I've been shooting today. It has been a blast. Oh, I've had so much fun today. And like I said, with the brand ones, they're all over the place. Uh, from medicine to cereals to I got Lunchables. Let me see, I'm looking at a stack of them. Oh, excuse me, I'm looking at a stack of them. I got like my cinnamon, the cinnamon I use. It's weird. I don't know why kids would like these. <laughs> That's the, those are the pickles my dad eats. We buy those things. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these though. Oh my gosh, and the TikToks do wonderful. Of all my TikToks I post, oh my gosh, these things really, People like them. People like to watch the surprise unboxings. Well, I mean, you're here. I'm here watching myself do this. I am a glutton for surprise unboxings. Just like the other one. Has the same cap. Opens like a orange. Let's see if I can't open the shelf thing last. <laughs> or whatever that piece is. Okay, we got... This is what I'm talking about here, guys. We got bacon bits. And it's not like a junky little same square container for everything. They could have very easily done like cereal boxes and boxes of stuff, you know, which those actually turn out great too if you if I get any of those. But like this thing's got like the, the fake, it doesn't open of course, but like I have the Folgers coffee one too and it looks just like a Folgers coffee container. You know what, like you know so much of this stuff. So when you see it little, you're like, whoa. Okay, so this is a shopping cart. I'm not gonna build this because this thing takes freaking forever. Look up the picture of the shopping cart. It's okay. I actually could grab mine. I'll grab mine at the end of this if you want. Oh man, like somebody, this is a riot. Spam, light. Spam, 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 spam. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. Wish I had Monty Python figures. I can't help but think about Deadpool for every one of these figures though, so <laughs> that is something fun I'm doing with the unboxings uh, is at the end of them. I like to try to find one of the things from the egg that I've opened on TikTok and put it with some figures really quick. So that's been a really fun thing to be like, ah, okay, who's going to be like, I'll pick one or two of the items and make it all work together. That's been really fun. Let's see. <laughs> Whoa. Bosco's Dulce de Caramel Syrup. It is like, oh my god, the lids on this image, take the plastic. The lid on that thing is cool. It's very much just like a little syrup. Looks like uh, somebody's gonna be making some ice cream sundaes. That's fun. There's an ice, there's ice cream too. There's like Briar's ice cream containers and stuff. I wish I get Ben and Jerry ones. Those would be great. Oh, okay, cool. This is like, I don't even know what this is, but this is a different kind of packaging. God, they are obsessed with bacon. It's Hormel's Real Crumble Bacon. I got two bacons. I guess Americans as a culture are bacon obsessed, so I guess that only makes sense. I actually have a packet of bacon I got from one of the other ones, but these are really cool because like you can see this is like a real little, hold on, there, no, I'm not, okay. It's like a real little bag. I don't know what's in here. Uh, it's probably not another replica because the 
boxes when you open them. It's just more cardboard to keep them sturdy. So I assume this is just like a little, feels like a little piece of foam or something, latex, I don't know. But yeah, this is so funny. You can even check the calories on the back if you're, uh, you're worried about it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you made it to this point, I really appreciate you uh, sticking around. It was really fun opening these up with you. I guess we could open this up too if you're feeling crazy. I am feeling crazy. Let's do it. But I'm going to try to do this in summation. So uh, thank you so much for watching this. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> it's like a little ice cream ball. Let's see what it transforms into. And, uh, whoa! Don't lose it. Beep, beep, beep. Bow, bow. Is that it? Well, that is a lame transformation if that's it. That's it. Bum, 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 bum. Thanks so much for watching. Hope I see you real soon.